Amas. It is thus that the Bodhisattva, when he has enjoined upon beings the gift of the worldly dharmas, goes on, through his skill in means, until he establishes them in the knowledge of all modes. The fourfold means of conversion. IBB and what is, on the part of the Bodhisattva, the gift of the supramundane dharmas, which are not shared with all the foolish common people. They are the four applications of mindfulness. B. The four right efforts. C. The four bases of psychic power. D. The five dominants. E. The five powers. F. The seven limbs of enlightenment. G. The holy eightfold path. Are the three gateways to emancipation. The eight deliverances. The nine successive attainments. The ten powers of Atathagata. The four grounds of self confidence. The four analytical knowledges. B. The great friendliness. The great compassion. The 18 special dharmas of a Buddha, C. The 32 marks of the Superman, D. The 80 accessory marks, E. The 500 Dharani's doors, and F. The hundreds of concentration doors. This is the gift of Dharma which is supramundane and not worldly. The 37 wings of enlightenment. Er and what subhuti are the four applications of mindfulness. I. With regards to the inward body, he dwells as one who reviews the body. And so he dwells with regard to the outward body and to both the inward and outward body, ardent, clearly conscious, and mindful, after putting away all worldly covetousness and sadness. With regard to the body he dwells as one who reviews its origination, its disappearance, and both its origination and disappearance. He dwells as one who does not lean on anything, and as one who does not grasp at the world. And so with regard to e-feelings, e-thought and i dharmas B. And what are the four right efforts? I. He rouses his will to bring about the future non-production of evil and unwholesome dharmas which have not yet been produced. E. He exerts himself to bring about the forsaking of evil and unwholesome dharmas which have been produced. E. He rouses his will and puts forth vigor so as to bring about the production of wholesome dharmas which have not yet been produced. IV he rouses his will so as to bring about the growth of those wholesome dharmas which have been produced, their greater abundance and the fulfillment of their development. C. And what are the four bases of psychic power? They are endowed with the formative forces of effort, and their concentration is caused, respectively, by desire to do, thought, vigor, or exploration. D. And what are the five dominants? Faith, vigor, mindfulness, concentration, and wisdom. E. And what are the five powers? The same as D. F. And which are the seven limbs of enlightenment? Mindfulness, investigation into dharmas, vigor, joyous zeal, tranquility, concentration, and even-mindedness. G. And what is the holy eightfold path? Right view, right intention, right speech, right conduct, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, right concentration. V. I. 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 5. 2. 2. The four unlimited. Er and what are the three concentrations? The concentration on emptiness, on the signless, and on the wishless. And what is the concentration on emptiness? The one-pointedness of thought which is achieved by the modes of the empty and the isolated. And what is the concentration on the signless? B. One-pointedness of thought which is achieved by the mode of calm quiet. And what is the concentration on the wishless? The one-pointedness of thought which is achieved by the modes of impermanent and ill. The eight deliverances. And what are the eight deliverances? I having form he sees forms. E perceiving inward form he sees outward forms. E he becomes resolved on loveliness. I v by completely overcoming all perceptions of forms. By the going to rest of the perceptions of impact, by not attending to the perceptions of manifoldness, on thinking, endless space, he dwells in the attainment of the station of endless space. V. By completely overcoming the station of endless space, on thinking, infinite consciousness, he dwells in the attainment of the station of infinite consciousness. I. V. By completely overcoming the station of infinite consciousness, on thinking that there is not anything, he dwells in the attainment of the station of nothing whatever. V. I. I. By completely overcoming the station of nothing whatever, he dwells in the attainment of the station of neither perception nor non-perception. V. I. 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 By completely overcoming the station of 
neither perception nor non-perception, he dwells in the attainment of the cessation of perception and feeling. The nine successive attainments. And what are the nine successive attainments? Here I someone dwells, detached from sense desires, detached from evil and unwholesome dharmas, in the attainment of the first trance, which is with thoughts applied and discursive, born of detachment, full of rapture and ease. 2. Viii he dwells as one who has attained the station of neither perception nor non-perception. Ix by completely overcoming the station of neither perception nor non-perception, he dwells in the attainment of the cessation of perception and feeling. The Ten Powers. And what are the Ten Powers of a Tathagata? I hear a Tathagata wisely knows, as it really is, what can be as what can be, and what cannot be as what cannot be. He wisely knows, as they really are, the karmic results of past, future, and present. Actions and undertakings of actions, as to place and cause. VII he wisely knows, as they really are, of other beings, other persons, the faculties and powers, as well as their limbs of enlightenment, trances, concentrations, and meditational attainments, and also their defilements and purifications. V he wisely knows as they really are, the higher and lower faculties of other beings and persons, and also IV their various dispositions. Vi he wisely knows, as it really is, the progressive way that leads everywhere, and also E the various elements in the world, its multifarious elements. Viii he recollects his various past lives. He recollects one birth to, in all their modes and in detail. Ix with his heavenly eye, pure and surpassing that of men, he sees beings, as they die and arise again too, as they are reborn in a happy destiny, in heaven, amongst the gods. X he wisely knows, as it really is, that emancipation of his heart affected through wisdom which is without outflows and which results from the extinction of the outflows. The foregrounds of self-confidence. And what are the foregrounds of self-confidence? I that I who claim to be fully enlightened am not fully enlightened as to those dharmas, I see nothing to indicate that anyone in this world with its gods. Maras Brahman, Brahmans can with justice make this charge. And, as I see nothing to indicate this, I dwell in the attainment of security and fearlessness. I claim my exalted place as the leader. Rightly roar the lions roar in the assembly, and set rolling the sacred wheel which cannot with justice be set rolling by any recluse Brahman, God, Mara, or Brahman, or anyone else in the world. E that I, who claim to have dried up the outflows, have not completely dried them up, that charge is impossible, too. E that those dharmas which I have described as impediments should have no power to impede him who pursues them, that charge is impossible, too. I V that he who cultivates the progressive path, which I have described as holy, conducive to going forth and to penetration, and as bringing the doer of it to the right extinction of ill, should not go forth to the right extinction of ill, that charge is impossible. 2. These are the foregrounds of self-confidence. The four analytical knowledges. What again are the four analytical knowledges? They I the analytical knowledge of the meaning, of the Dharma, of languages, of inspired speech. And which are they? They have meaning, Dharma, languages, and inspired speech for their respective objective supports. The 18 Special Buddha Dharmas. And what are the 18 Special Buddha Dharmas of a Tathagata? The Tathagata I does not trip up, he is not rash or noisy in his speech, he is never robbed of his mindfulness. IV his thought is never unconcentrated, V he has no perception of difference, VI his even-mindedness is not due to